Alright guys, let's talk about them. Fortnite dollars. I know what you're thinking. Dave, how much do you earn from Fortnite? Well, I'll tell you guys. Uh, nothing. <laughs> Let me tell you guys in the history of first person shooters. I played Doom, which came out in 1993. And then I played Overwatch, which came out in 2016. And then I played Fortnite, uh, which came out in 2017. But I started playing it in 2019. So if you count the 23 year break in between 2016 and 1993, I don't really have the best history when it comes to first person shooters. But I do like Fortnite, and I want to tell you guys why. So to get the basic stuff out of the way first, there's primarily three game modes that people will probably pay attention to. Uh, solo, duo, and squads. So solo is exactly what it sounds like. It's you alone versus 99 other people, so it's a 100 person battle royale. Duos is the same thing, it's a 100 person battle royale, except you're in a group of two. And squads, you're in a group of four. The weapons change each season. Um, in this particular season, there's things like shotguns, your typical loadouts, sniper rifles, assault rifles, rocket launchers, and stuff like that. Um, in terms of vehicles, there's a boat, which is actually pretty cool. You can drive on land, and it can shoot missiles. And it can also obviously stay in the water, which you're supposed to do. And there's also a helicopter, which can be used as basically a weapon. Uh, it doesn't have anything that you can fire, but you can use the blades to like destroy structures and even other people. So you're probably thinking at this point, okay, it's a first person shooter, it has helicopters, you can fly, it has boats, you can drive. What makes it so different and why do I like it? And it's the mobility. Um, it's actually the freedom in the character movement. So like for example, on that bridge there's a treasure chest, but my dude is on the ground. But that doesn't matter because I can literally build up as high as I want and I can build things, many different kinds of structures actually, and that's just scratching the surface. Like, building in this game is insane. So in this particular season there's like this plunger thing and you can use it to very quickly climb vertical spots like walls or houses or stuff like that. And you can also use what's called a launch pad or a jumper. And you can deploy them, and once you actually use them, you can jump really high in the air, and you can deploy what's called your glider. Uh, so you can glide back down to safety, you can pick a spot to fall down to. But the thing about that is the glider makes you safe, but if you build shitty, and I'll explain building in a second, uh, as you can see here, everything just crumbles. So if you get knocked off because you built, you know, like something really shitty in the sky, uh, you'll just die, because your glider doesn't deploy then and fall damage is a thing. So my dude is swinging a harvesting tool, and you harvest materials by breaking the stuff around you in your environment. Uh, you can break wood, brick, and metal, and obviously wood is weaker than brick, and brick is weaker than metal. You can build walls, ramps, pyramids, flat surfaces, but what really kicks this into overdrive and makes it like hyper-competitive is something called edits. So as you can see, I can edit a window, I can edit a door, I can edit angular walls, or I can edit vertical walls. You can edit a lot of different things, this is just a sampling. But what makes this insanely competitive is the fact that as quick as you can edit something, you can revert it instantly. So this creates very competitive situations where you can build a wall, edit a wall, literally expose like some kind of opening in the wall, shoot a dude that you're versing, and then revert that change so the wall closes. This is insane. Like, not only is it an offense and defensive game at the same time, but the skill cap for this is, like, infinite. So I think one of the big problems with Overwatch was the fact that the teams were in groups of six. And that was a problem because getting a group of five other people together, growing together, learning together, understanding the meta together, always being competitive together, like, it just doesn't work out very well. So, in particular duos, I think this is where Fortnite absolutely shines. In duos, if your partner dies, one of two things happens. They crawl around with a timer with their health kind of depleting from 100, and when that goes down to zero, uh, they'll die and they'll become what's called a reboot card. If they're still crawling around, you can revive them. It takes 10 seconds. But if they become a reboot card, you need to go to what's called the reboot van, and you can revive them that way. So you're never completely down and out, and the only way that you lose the game is obviously if both of you get killed. A down partner also reveals the location of your other partner for like 5 seconds on the map or something if you shake them. So as long as the person that you're playing with isn't a shitlord and they play solo you know, like all the time when you're not around. It's actually a very cool game mode because you end up growing together competitively, you learn to build competitively, you learn to problem solve competitively, you learn about the meta competitively, like everything about it is perfect. I started playing Fortnite with my girlfriend Kat and honestly this has been like one of the funner gaming experiences in my entire life. Um, it's very awesome to see her grow in such a way that it's also reflective of my own growth. 
it's cool to see us grow together, um, to be competitive together and just understand better together. And this is just honestly scratching the surface, like it doesn't even explain all the map locations, all the mythical weapons, the way that the weapons are tiered, like it explains none of this stuff. It's just a really fun game if you can play with a friend or a girlfriend or boyfriend if you can swing it that way. And yeah, this is why I like this game. <laughs>